Okay. Um, I want to talk about uh, her. I want to talk about Lilith and Cryon and your North Nod. Those are my favorite ones. First, I'm going to talk about North Nod. North Nod, okay? North Nod is your life purpose that you came here to have. You came here to gain the energies, the characteristics, and build the characteristics of what your North Nod sign is in. There's 12 signs. There's 12 houses that your North Nod could be in. And, that, and in the houses is where that is the atmosphere. 12 houses, that's what they call it, a house. But you are the house. You are the castle to all these signs. So your, your North Nod, say it's going to be in the first house. That is the house of the Aries. It's the house of self. It's the first. It's the house of acting people. It is um, the hero. It is just the self, you know, your persona. How people are going to perceive you right away. Uh, that, and that, that could be your purpose to develop in. You're, you're supposed to be developing your purpose your whole life. This whole life, living out your purpose. Living in your purpose. Living for your purpose, with your purpose, whatever. But there's other things that you could live for and with. And, uh, okay? So, I don't know. Um, Anyways, um, you know, the first house, it, if your North Nod is in there, um, <clears throat> you know, it's rolled by Aries. So let's just say your North Nod is an Aries. You're, you're meant to build the characteristics of an Aries. You lack that when you came into this world. It's always polar opposite of your South Nod. Your South Nod is... Um, this, uh, is, is going to be Libra, and that means you already accomplished the energies and characteristics and learned lessons of a Libra, and you came here with those characteristics. You were born with them naturally. It was like your past life, or your just life here with you were just naturally born with them. You know, you can think about it that way. And you were naturally pretty. You bring this to here. You're naturally good at relationships. You're naturally balanced. You already brung that here. You teach that to the world because that's what you already know. You already were. It's not your sun sign, but um, that's what you are now. Okay, and like your north nod is what you lacked and you came here to gain. You're going to go after that. It's what you want to know about more. It's like your other brain, your other half. Like you just keep on building and learning and experiencing. Hopefully, you'll, you know, and then once you act like one of those characteristics from the North Nod, like Aries, if you're going to be fat, quick, fast, quick, athletic, or um, Aries like of the self, um, you know, like the Ram, like doing things. Um, you know, loud, bluntly, you know, being kind of aggressive, like really aggressive, it, it being the fire, you know, the first thing, you know, that comes to mind, Aries, um, how to explain that, the survival, um, traits of an Aries, the heroic traits of an Aries, you know, once you feel like a hero, uh, you probably are like in your life purpose once you feel like you've done it quick. You feel like an Aries. It's also a sexual sign because it's related to Mars. Also, egotistical signs. It's also a willpower sign, and, and it's exciting. Um, so you know you'll find yourself living in your in your purpose, building it every each time you feel like an Aries. And then like if your North Nod is in the second house. And your, your North Nod is also going to almost be like a Saturn, but it's because, like, if your North Nod is in the second house, you lack possessions and you lack, you know, money. You might be homeless. Second house is ruled by Taurus. You lack, you lack stimulation of food and the second reaction, second thing to Aries being the K-Man is being stable towards feeling it's almost like a home feeling having a home you know kind of having everything 
having financial security, I mean, you might have to go through the, you know, life being homeless because you came here with a salvage, the a scorpion knowledge. You might feel like that. I mean, it, it's not necessary that it, you know, you know, and you know, being stable, you know, you're used to just coming in this world chaotic, scorpion like, deep, emotional, uh, and um, transforming others. Okay, um. You know, if your North Nod isn't that house, it is the structure of the atmosphere around you and inside, out, inside of you kind of thing because you're a 3D hologram, basically. Um, your North Nod, if it's in the third house, you came here to learn about communicating and how you think. You might even have, um, you lack thinking and you like a mind, you know, you might, you feel like that is like that you might lack uh, hand-eye coordination, you you know, like Gemini's have, multi-dimensional, multi-personalities, you might need to develop a personality every time you have thought that you have a personality, that is something that you're gaining in this life, to be Gemini-like, um, to be a writer, um, you might lack words, well, lack knowledge of words, using words, and the polarity of Gemini is Sagittarius, so you came here lucky, you came here goofy, clumsy, whatever, just expanding, and philosophical, philosophical, philosophy, full, um, okay, that is, okay, um, yeah, if your North Nod is in <clears throat> the fourth house, which is ruled by Cancer, it's in Cancer, you know, this is the traits, just you know, of cancer is emotional. You might lack feelings, um, like a cancer does have. You might lack expressing yourself emotionally. And your the polar opposite of that is um um Capricorn. You might came here just like um already good at your career probably or something and um or it's like and okay but Cancer's more mothering, uh, Capricorn's more fathering, because those, those are the signs. You might lack being mothering, and every and if you had kids, that's your life purpose to have kids and learn through that whole experience. Being a mothering, having a mother, maybe, you know? And if you don't, then, you know, you're going to have to try to build that your whole life, looking for that. And you never knew that that's what you're lo looking for, and that's what you lacked. But and you'll build it and get it. You know what I mean? It just adds to your chart, adds to you, who you are, and stuff. And this is what you're gonna complete yourself with. It's really neat. Um, it doesn't mean you want to completely be that sign. It's just once you, you want to add that to the characteristics of that to your life, to yourself. Um, you know, much too much to say. Um, at cancel is intimacy too. Very, and, um, you know, and being a gypsy, you know, we having connections with people. You know, cancer signs is the most connected sign of all. You know, they you know, you go to the, your mother, they're, you know, no mother knows best, you know, kind of thing. And it, you, you might not, you might be saying, oh, that's not true, my mother's a psycho, or, or people's moms can be psycho. Well, yeah, you know, but, so you might lack that as well. That might be another excuse to say, I need a mother, or, or you're so mother, you might find friends that are mothering and nourishing to help you with that. And it'd be part of your purpose. Okay, and if you're, um, eh, Northern Odd is in the fifth house. You, it's like of the heart, the being creative, you know, and your relationship with um children, in um the front also cancers your relationship with your home, having a home, feeling home, your comfort zone. You might lack that. You might 
lack having that too. It is like crazy. Like emotions. How can you be um, paying attention to your emotions and how you feel and how other people feel? Anyways, the fifth house is about by Leo. You know what I'm saying? So being the star, being a show off, maybe. I mean, having something to show off. I don't know. Do you have something to show off? Not all Leos have, they just want to show off to show off. That doesn't mean they have any talent. They could, and they would be more something that they could find out what their talent is. And being creative is Leo, you know, um, you'll find your life purpose in that. When, you know, every time you uh, see yourself having a relationship with kids, and you will be building your characteristics from there too. Just like mother and nourishing stuff too. Um, cancer, but um, it's more of being on stage and stuff. You might lack attention, and you want to get attention. You know, the fifth house Leo, and having an ego, you might lack that. And the polar opposite is Aquarius. You might have a different type of ego. Aquarius is the polar opposite of Leo. And you came here with knowing everything, and not getting any attention for it. You know, maybe that you're teaching all this Aquarius-like stuff, and then you need that Leo spotlight um, in your life having that gold energy and being praised and worshipped feeling or something like that and being a kitty cat, whatever. Okay, so your North Nod, if it's in the sixth house, it's ruled by Virgo, you came here already teaching Pisces, because that's the polar opposite, being psychedelic, being all over the place, you know, but you might like Virgo, you might like being practical, you might like being grounded here, you might like, you know, every time you find yourself being in order and organized and perfectionist, being things perfect, you, you know, you might and live into your own abundance, you know, harvesting, being a mother hen, being vocal, you know, being um, Mercury and like talkative, whatever. It's ruled by Virgo, you know, the Virgo energies. There's so many things to say about that. Okay. Um, good God. Uh, okay, if, if your North Nod is in the seventh house, Libra, you know, polar opposite of Aries, you might already come here aggressive and running into things and going at it real fast and quick, but you lack being balanced and Libra relational like, you might lack relationships, you might like that beauty that you've been wanting to build, you know, you might like you know, inner beauty, like, outer beauty, making things beautiful, you might not even care, like, but, you know, Aries can, you know, it's just, like, making things beautiful, decorating, fashion sense, kind of stuff, you know, it's not like it has to be shallow, but, like, you know, being, like, not so, like, <sighs> okay, if it's in Scorpio, you might, came here with being stable and you lacked a sex life, <laughs> a scorpion, it just rules sex, it, you might lack di dignity, you know, it doesn't mean that a scorpion sign is really that sexual, it's just, you know, it's just, and it's a spiritual sign, and, um, uh, um, you might, I'm getting so distracted, this last star theme, and Okay, oh my god, Scorpion, um, you might lack the knowledge of the other side, the darker sides of you, and, you know, the, um, it, it's just, it's less stable, unemotional, is, it's not, like, towards the unemotional, but it's m more practical with their emotions, but Scorpions, they're very emotional, very deeply emotional. They have emotions that other people have never felt or escaped to or dealt with, which is not about escape. Scorpion's not really a, basically about escape. It's about n being deep in the real tr raw truth and um, things that you can escape from. It's almost like being a little trapped inside yourself really, you know, it's, um, it's, it's transforming other people because you're looking inside other people, 
And when you look inside yourself, you can see yourself in other people. It's a water sign. We all are like almost, at, we're all 100% water. It's like we're all becoming one thing to like Pisces and Cancers. That we all can feel each other's water. Emotional selves. Emotional bodies we work with. We communicate with. Okay. My gosh, this last is so long. If your North Node is in the ninth house, well, Sagittarius, you might lack um, luck. <laughs> Sagittarius, philosophy, Jupiter. Um, Sagittarius um, is polar opposite of Gemini, so you can't ever come here with the Gemini mind. Oh my god, um, I'm just naming all of this stuff and saying a few traits that you could give and take, you know, whatever, but in, it's not explaining what the North Knot is, but basically that's a small part of it. In the tenth house, you might like, you know, being fathering, practical, earthy, being grounded, Capricorn like stuff, the stage, having a career, ambitions, whatever, getting them to the point of making things useful, using things, using yourself. And the same with Aquarius, the eleventh house, being utilized. Being humanitarian for others, the relational sign to being mental, being um, an all knowing person. Aquarius is a full opposite of Leo. Being weird, you know, being not, not caring about humiliation, having friends, being friendly, you know, with non Aquarius. And um, communicating with aliens, you know, being futuristic, you know, get real, come on with it. Um, um, oh my god, the 12th house, Pisces, Virgo, Paul Alvesette, being psychic, being chameleon, being creative, being, being unconditional loving, being a Piscean, stop. Swimming. <laughs> Consciousness. The subconsciousness, whatever. Imagination. There's just all these traits. Okay, I give up. I'm out of here. Thank you for listening to that. But North and Odd is just so interesting. And then, like, the Lilith is, like, what you're proud of. And it's social arrogance. And it's how you rebel against whatever house it's in. And it's almost like Mars being in a war. But I only see that because my Lilith is an Aries. <laughs> but if your Lilith is in any other signs, um, it'll mean different things. It will mean that's what you're going to be proud of at the end of the day, end of your tasks. Um, Lilith is like the re the character that rebels against Adam because they didn't want to hear what or didn't want to obey Adam's every demand and all this douchebag bullcrap because Adam just wanted a wife basically to be a slave or something and then Eve they made Eve and Eve became Adam's submissive girlfriend yeah well it's uh, just yeah, thank you. There you go. My idea of Brian is the unwounded healer. So it means you're not, you know, it's a, a wound that you constantly are healing over and over. Basically, if you have an appetite, you always got to feed your appetite. You know, you're hungry. You're hungry. You got to feed yourself your food, you know, uh, feed that appetite. You know, it's like that. It's like, Healing over and over and up it open wound the wound opens up and then you heal it and then you're all better again. You know? Like it it, it, it will like it's like destroys itself and then it, you repair it. You we we build it. Cryon must be that type of thing. Something that you're constantly healing. And um you're not ever going to be healed. I mean, you can heal it and then you move on and it's going to be ruined all over again. It's all going to be like a, a, a band-aid ripped off. 
Um, we gotta put the banding back on. And it's just the what you're gonna be challenged with with your life. And just it rest is how you heal other people. And and it it depends on what sign it is in and that's how you'll heal others. You will have those traits to heal other people with. And Prion is um if uh, if someone has cryon in a house that you're or I mean a sign that your cryon is in, I think the sea rest will help you heal help heal you while you heal yourself, teach you how to heal yourself. With like you know if um it's it's like that okay so and there's more to talk about with that you know there's several things to think about but i'm in a little bit high and um i'm in a little weird mood but it was no excuse i could do this some other time i'm just gonna do it now and never so uh, that's a little bit about my own how i take it and there's more about Prion, there's a lot of things. Stay tuned for how I can, I'm trying to be able to explain that. But oh well, I just get this whole um, video in, it's been very long. Thank you. Yeah, I'll go for that again.